Number and the six. fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Missouri's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Gets out to around the 48. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three! 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 three. Oh. He's out of bounds to the 47-yard line. A gain of one. It was a nice catch by the sophomore, but it was well played by the defense to stop him for a minimal gain. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. From the 48-yard line, second down. They give to the tailback. Tackle at the 50. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Wants to go long and does. And he makes a catch. Touchdown. Big play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Missouri is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. corner and he hits him hard at the 28. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 28. by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Four down, four down. My game, my game. Red, two, three, eight. Motion, motion. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. From their own 46-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Left. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Down he goes at about the 33 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. 
That's a one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Inside the 10, he gets hit out of bounds right around the four yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. left and he's taken down in the backfield. No gain on the play. That brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Four yards out. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. Just throws this one away. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen and not to mention your wide receivers. I thought he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. There's the strike complete. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Missouri is up four. Catches it, and that's all. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Green nine, green nine, dance, orange three. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. And a quick throw. And he's tackled at the 40. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Kill, kill, kill! kill. Black Black three. Three. He might have a chance. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. Let's go. Two. Yellow three. Here's a run. That's a great tackle at the 12-yard line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Missouri leads 7-3.
And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Missouri is up by four. And he's taken down at the one. That makes it first and goal. And he has it on the corner. target that tight end is close to the goal line. Well, the coach has to be happy with this guy's play so far, so I would expect to see a lot of passes thrown his way, especially in short yardage situations. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. An amazing drive in this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball in the 29. Four down, four down. Check four, check four. Red two. He gets rid of this one. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull out there, check the outs out there. Three down, three down. Red two. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 42. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. At the 30, to the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. What a run by the quarterback. Boy, this guy is dangerous. He can hurt you by running or throwing. There you can see how talented he is as a runner. The play breaks down. He didn't panic or get flustered. He just tucks it in and picks up a nice game. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. I like the idea of trying to drop that one in there, but that one might have had a little too much air under it. I don't have a problem with the pass. It was just a superb job by the defender of playing the ball in the air. And two. And he's level at the one yard line. That's good for the game in yards. That makes us 30 more. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Here's a handoff, left side. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. First and 10. 
Ball on their own 40. Now he's got room to run. Makes it out to about the 49. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That brings up second and one. forward to around midfield. It's first and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. And he's going to be sacked. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Yard line. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So the sack makes this third and very long. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Number nine, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Tigers get ready to go in here at halftime. They've got their star player not having the kind of game he normally has on a weekly basis, and yet they've got the lead. And with that in mind, third and fourth quarter could belong to them. Third and fourth quarter should belong to them because I have a lot of confidence that this offense is eventually going to start to click. And, and once they do, I think it's a matter of time until you really find out what they're capable of doing. The defense, I think, has done a good enough job of slowing down that star tailback. We'll see if they can hold on here in the second half. From their own 20-yard line, Second down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he's tackled right away. That's a loss of four yards. That play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Tackles right around the 18-yard line. Two yards there on the option keeper. Alabama's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Tackle made at the 49. Fires out to his receiver. They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught out in the open. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. It's second and 10. Ball on the 42. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Step 
steps out of bounds around the 19-yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's hit immediately. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Makes it to the nine. Check, check. That brings him second. Nearly intercepted. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike green nine, green off. And he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Looks so like he flinched down there on the line. False start, start offense. offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. We played a half of football here. The Tigers in front by 11. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ms. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese, these ball hawks on defense. They need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense. So so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves the second half. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But wait, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring, bring up second, second and 11. 11. Oh, man. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 24. Mike eight, Mike eight. Green nine, 
Sky Green 9, go! And he throws it away. Receivers got the first down. Brought down at the 45-yard line. That'll move the chains for another Alabama first down. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Mike eight. Mike eight. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He fights forward to about the 46. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Cut it left, cut it left. Four down, four down. My gate, my gate. Go! Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. So we're looking at another third down here. Throws it deep. Completes. It's the junior. Touchdown, Alabama. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So the score now, 17-13. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Missouri holds a four-point lead. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, second down. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. Quick pass. He's tackled around the 27-yard line. That makes it worth an inning. Booming kick. And he's taken down at the 28. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Gives it to the back. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From their own 32-yard line, second down. He'll get the call again, and down he goes at the 33-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll make it third and five. Quick pass intercepted. Number seven, 
He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Missouri is up by four. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Here's a running play. One-yard loss for the halfback. down now they need to get it down to the 33 really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium stays in bounds to make a nice catch the defense might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Number 42 makes the tackle at the 28 yard line. That. That'll make it second and seven. Dog four! And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Number 42 on the tackle at the 21 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Kill, kill, kill! Watch the safety three! Touchdown, Mizzou! And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 43-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27. Red two. He scrambled. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Wants to throw outside. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. In front by 11. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike eight. Mike eight. Red two. X seven. They go. They go. And they make the stop at the 36 yard line. Gain of one yard. That makes it third and three. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Tied right, tied right. Four down, four down. My game, my game. Red two. 
and he's taken down at the 37. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. He's hit and taken down. Here's the eighth play of the series. This one is batted away. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Get to that quickly. Tackle around the 15-yard line. This is the tenth play of this drive. Scrambling around, and he has it on the corner. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Toss, left side. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. They're looking to get two points here. They don't get it. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive. But the failed two point conversion keeps it a six point score. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quick throw out to the receiver. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 30. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Tight left, tight left. Watch 20, check 20. Here we go, here we go. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Just under three to go in regulation. Take this one off, and it's a beauty. Steps out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to make it. it does not so. This is a pretty series right here. With things, your players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Throws off balance, and it's intercepted. Oh, no. They really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30. They'll 
bring him down at the 22-yard line. Alabama just took their first time out. He's under some heat, and they got him. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback. Not only is the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm, and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure, and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Just under two to go in the game. It has the distance, and it's good! Missouri's offense is just so dangerous when you've got a guy this reliable. Well, it's just nice to have a playmaker like this. I mean, it's one thing to be able to count on the pass the game and the receivers, but when you have somebody this special in the backfield, it puts a lot of pressure on that defense. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he's going to come up with a sack. They've really thrown the quarterback's rhythm off and rattled his confidence with such a relentless pass rush. He's not himself out there at all today. The spike will stop the clock. Here in the fourth quarter and behind, they're not going to get many more chances. And now it's third down and a mile. Mike eight. Mike eight. Red two. Green nine. Check motion, motion. Go. He wants it all. Throws complete. He's got room to work. That was a nice catch. He went up, leaving his body susceptible to the hit, but he came down with it and got a first down. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. They'll spread the field with five wide. Complete. He's got room. Tackle made at the 19. Number 28 makes the tackle. 19 yard line. That brings him to second and five. Four down, four down. Mike Under a minute left. Red two. Go. Fires it out, and he's immediately tackled. Kill, kill. Finds a man, touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Very important play coming up, and if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. Green nine, green nine. And that just might do it. Intercepted, and they won't get the two. Down at the 46. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 48-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator does super there to keep it. This close in this ball game, defense has got a chance to win it. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose.
Missouri 27, Alabama 25. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.